Who here hasn't been to space? Why? <laughs> you better not throw up on my ship. Approaching jump in three, two, yes, one. Two. This is coming from Avatar uh, Studios. And uh, I'm sorry, Avatar Studios. Uh, this is coming from Avatar News here. And they had this to say. They said, we have a huge Avatar News exclusive for you today. It's happening. Avatar Studios is working on the next Avatar after Aang and Korra. An original animated streaming series set in the future. Now, okay, we'll talk about it. Set in the future after Legend of Korra. Following the next Earth Avatar in the cycle is coming to Paramount Plus in 2025. But there's more. An animated movie featuring this Avatar and their era is coming to theaters in the years after the show comes out. I can't reveal more uh, specific details yet, but it won't be an insanely long wait. Currently, we don't know how... Far in the future, this Avatar era will be set, but will be roughly approximately based on the previous Avatars, uh, is that if it will probably be set a hundred years after Korra's time. It will be in the it will be in the Avatar world, Avatar world's equivalent of our world present day. Uh, okay, then it said uh, 2025 is going to be a huge launch year for Avatar Studios Animated Universe with the adult Aang movie coming in coming to theaters uh, on October 10th, 2025, as well as the new series streaming in the same year. This isn't a mistake on my part. They're intentionally releasing both at the same in the same year. Uh, part of part of a much bigger plan. Currently, it is implied that the movie is I lost my place that the movie is Avatar Studios' first project of any kind, which would imply that this series would come out after that, which will come out after that, at the at the very end of the year, likely in November or December 2025. Uh, there could, of course, be delays, but they are absolutely working on multiple projects in parallel right now. This is the second Avatar original streaming series coming soon, with the live-action Young Ang series premiering next year in 2026 on uh, on um on 2023 rather on netflix season two of the live action atla can be s can be estimated for two years later on later in 2025 as well joining the adult gang animated movies and the next earth avatar animated series is formed to beginning or is form I'm sorry. Uh, the next Earth animated series to form the biggest year of Avatar ever. More news tomorrow. Um, so, for those of us that are big Avatar fans, I am a big Avatar fan. Don't get me wrong. I Especially, Avatar The Last Airbender is timeless. I don't care who you are. It is simply timeless. Whether you watched it in its inception, where you had to wait week to week and then wait years in between the series or in between each season to come out that was me i was in middle school when when avatar uh when atla came out um i was in elementary actually when it came out i finished it finished when i was in middle school but i loved atla it was it was something it was nothing like i had seen before on on nickelodeon or television or anything like that it was super super dope um the first season had you know some people might argue because uh, I remember remember in 2020 when Avatar got put on Netflix and people some people were watching it for the first time. They were like, uh, the first season was kind of kiddie, but it really picks up for those last two seasons. And it really picks up even toward the end of, of season one. And it really does. It really does. I think with the first season, they were trying to find their feet, their footing with well, the first half of the first season. They were trying to find their footing, but came came on to uh, learn that. Hey, this C this this series, this ATLA thing they've got going on, it's actually really deep because there are some deep there's some deep stuff that goes on in in in, in the ATLA in the ATLA series. And I again, I really really love those stories. I love those characters. I don't care what anybody says. In my opinion, Zuko has the absolute best character arc of me out of out of many different TV shows, many different of many different characters. He has one of the best character developments. Period. I thought that Zuko was great. Um, obviously, Aang, Sokka's so Sokka is Sokka, he, but he developed too. We even got to see, you know seeing. Um, um, uh, oh my God! Why am I blanking? Um, God, Sokka's sister. Whoa! Why am I blanking? Even Toph had development. Um, I know that's not Sokka's sister, but even Toph had development. Um, Damn, why am I blanking on Sokka's sister? Katara, thank you, Katara. 
I don't know why I just want to say Kira, but no, Katara, yes. Katara uh, also had major development. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite episodes with Katara is when she is trying to find the man that killed her mother. That episode is so deep, and I love the connection between Katara and Zuko in that episode. Because, you know, at that time, she was still trying to trust Zuko, but Zuko was also a part of the gang at that time. And being a part of the gang, he was, he was trying to earn and gain Katara's trust. Bro, that whole episode was so good. She could have killed dude. She ended up not killing dude. Um, didn't she do some blood bending even in that on 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 the first dude that she encountered that she thought was him? Uh, yeah, bro. It, I thought Avatar again was absolutely phenomenal. Now, my issues with what we just read. The only issue I have with what we just read is that it's going to be taking place in present day. I don't know that Avatar works and with present day now it could it very well could depending on how it's depending and i and i i definitely trust the people over there at avatar studios because these are the original makers these are the original creators that originally made atla you know they held out they they stepped away from the netflix series because it wasn't going the direction they wanted it to go they held out till they could finally do what they wanted to do and that is a cinematic universe with avatar studios so i trust with what they're doing i i think that they definitely know what they're doing but I am a little trepidatious on a series like Avatar being set in modern day. That's just a little strange to me. I mean, I don't know how that works. An earthbender set like, so are we, are we seeing cars? Are we going to see, like, what are we seeing? Like, what exactly is modern day? Are they going to have phones or what? It, I mean, I don't know, man. I, it is interesting. It's something I'm a little trepidatious on, but I'm still here for it because again, I really am excited for us to see an earthbender, um, the next cycle um, in the Avatar, seeing an Earthbender. Now, I will say this too, because we've talked about Avatar over here before, and one of those things that I've talked about with it is, I personally wouldn't have minded having a a Roku series or a Kyoshi series or or a series like that, a prequel type thing showing previous Avatar, one of the previous Avatars, and some of their stories. I, I would have wouldn't have minded that. Again, I'm still happy with this. I'm happy with anything they're doing ATLA style wise, but I'm a little trepidatious when it comes to the things going on with it being uh, present day live action and this also came out today too is that dante bosco who plays uh fire lord zuko's voice is also going to be coming back to voice him in the 2025 ang gang film so he'll be back for that as well um like i said i'm open-minded for a present day uh look at what that would look like um but it, I just don't, I just, I, I can't picture it right now. I, I need to see something from it. I really cannot picture. I can't picture it. I can't picture it. Um. So yeah, you know, like I said, let me know. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Like I said, I think Avatar is timeless. I think that this is going to be great. I think that the people over there at Avatar Studios, being the makers, being the creators, know what they're doing. I do have my trust in them. I, I, I I'm hope that this whole thing everything coming out in 2025 is going to be great i'm even still looking forward to the netflix uh series that they did walk away from because of the cast the casting that they have for that and the the pictures that i've seen from the set and things like that the set photo leaks and things like that it, it these are practical sets this is not like cgi shit this is this is going to be pretty dope i think i i hope and and i say that with so much worry and so and so much trepidation because there is the m night Shyamalan movie that is is just absolutely dog shit so uh, I I hope that they really can handle the uh, the the Netflix one um, with justice and two with us coming up on the new year I'm expecting at some point to see a trailer for the Netflix live action series that they're doing because other than the the casting announcements and other than set leaks of the of the set We've not seen or heard anything. They've not given us anything. No, no, nothing, you know, hinting toward a, when to expect a trailer or anything like that or a, re a release date or anything. And I'm assuming that's coming with the trailer, too. So I'm hoping for the best with the Netflix series. I know that Avatar Studios is going to handle their business and things that they want to do with their connective stories and their cinematic universe that they're trying to do. Again, just a little trepidation with the modern day stuff. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys are thinking of what's going to be going on with this new Earthbender series coming in 2025. What are some of the things you're expecting to see 
with the Aang Gang movie that's coming out in 2025 as well. And what are your thoughts on them running at the same time, leading to a bigger event that's going to be going on? And when I say leading to a bigger event, obviously, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, from what they say, leading to a bigger event of what's going to be going on in their newly established Avatar universe. So let us know down below what you guys are thinking about that.